Welcome to Pearson Edexcel International A-Level Advanced Level. Welcome to Pearson Edexcel International Advanced Level A-Level AS WAC 1101. Uh, this is a very recent exam which was taken place 10th May 2024. You got to fill all the details and get started this paper. Total marks are 200 and you must aim for 80 percent 160 marks this video lecture is about clubs and societies which is a very popular topic common topic igcc is also as level in section b you got to answer three questions so this is one of the questions stay tuned and we will be solving it we can see so many talky talky. It is always advisable to read the requirement. Here it is A, B, and in between B, 1, 2, 3. There's another theory question evaluation of these two options. So, what are the requirements? It's always, always advisable to read the requirements twice. A, for four marks, state two differences when preparing clubs and a sole treader so it is good to do this way like they said club okay let's start club club and sole treader one two is enough isn't it without reading the question we can straight answer it from our prior knowledge right great but i'd like to go through a little more requirement prepare year-ended subscription account you meant to do Trading account you meant to do, income and expenditure account you meant to do. There is no need of um, balance sheet they didn't ask. And there's a bit of evaluation. So marks are allocated there. Let's get our easy four marks first. Clubs and societies are not for profit. Non-profit, isn't it? Non-profit. You write that, you get one mark. Nice and good. And this is sole trader is a profit-making organization one mark in there one one two nice and good yeah and they ask for two differences another difference there are quite a few like in sole trader we call it capital and in not-for-profit making organization what do you call it accumulated fund isn't it accumulated fund also you see the there is a subscription which you're going to do later on is the main source of income or so we call it subscription is main income for clubs and societies and uh, so erase this one sales is the one two three main source of income right main income also we prepare receipts and payments account in clubs and in sole trader cash book income and expenditure they asked you here income and expenditure in clubs and trading account profit and loss account we call it PNL and other comprehensive income so I have given you quite a bit quite a lot without reading the question at all right so this is our a done nice and good it's going to be a long video because it's the past paper and a recent past paper so stay connected throughout the video next we're going to do a subscription account subscription we said is the main income for a clubs and society members they pay a subscription regularly every month or weekly could be for that we need to read the question yeah and for subscription i have kept some space here as they asked for a subscription account i take a green color pen here what do you say better so doing like that subscription is an income account right so dr cr subscription remember income is a credit account so if you want to plus it it's on the debit side a credit side if it's a minus it's on the debit side but in this particular question while doing the questions, I would like to show you the answers. Look at this answer is here. Um, yeah, they said non-for-profit, non-for-income expenditure, profit and loss, 
receipts and payments cash book accumulated fund capital subscription has been uh, you can write in any order they asked for two we have given more than two okay now subscription regarding subscription only these items are there one two three four items but a very nice and good one you must need papa ala i will show you why because i can see opening and closing if you remember p a p a a l l a papa ala ah now those of you seeing the papa ala first time so what do you mean by papa ala and those of you have already seen my video on youtube so papa ala is very popular it's for opening and closing accruals and prepayments like this this top part changing the color of the pen now this top part is opening and this bottom part is closing now oh, and going back to red again opening prepaid we add closing accrued we less now i beg my pardon opening prepaid we add opening accrued we less in that counts now closing prepaid we less usually we deal with the closing prepaid less accrued add this is what we normally do but how about opening we do the opposite yeah so remember the papala which will be needed in this particular uh, subscription account heavily subscription were 60 per annum and there are 90 members so that is our main income 30th april yeah that is our main income and uh, In the income and expenditure account it's going to be income credit and subscription account debit but hold on in a subscription account there would be some look at this areas advance and again a little bit of bad debt and areas and advance opening and closing this is opening opening area and adverse uh, 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 advance so uh, we're gonna do this calculation but uh, just income and expenditure I'd like to do first because uh, 60 times by 90 how much it is 90 times 60 5,400 5,400 is our income but did you get all this money into your bank account answer is no there are some accruals and prepayments we will deal with that Mm, let's do the workings then i'll put these figures into the account opening seven members had paid their subscription in advance so opening prepaid you got to opening prepaid you got to add it so seven times by 60 uh 60 times seven you can do the mental maths but calculator is recommended 420 this is prepaid isn't it and this is opening prepaid what do you do opening prepaid you add just bear with me i will show you how to add in a t account yeah i already showed you here if you want to add you got to write here don't you you write it down balance bd 420 yeah you got to put the dates uh, that was first of may wasn't it yeah first of may 2023 and five members were in area five times by 60 it is 300 and uh, also first of may balance bd but area which is accrued opening accrued what do you do opening accrued you less opening accrued you less so less is on the debit side again balance bd first of may uh, 2023 bd bell bd 300 that's the easy marks you're gonna get so our first one is done and this one how do you do this 5400 income and expenditure so income and expenditure 5400 subscription debit income and expenditure credit that's how you do first two are done second one two of the members in areas uh paid full you see out of this highlighting for you five members were area area mean they didn't pay accrued due uh, two of them paid full reminder were considered irrecoverable reminder means how many then out of five two paid 
that means 3 unpaid, isn't it? 3 unpaid. 3 times by 60, 180 is irrecoverable. So if you meant to do a recoverable account, irrecoverable debit, irrecoverable debit, subscription credit. Right, so in the subscription account, you've got to put your double entry knowledge in any T account, right? You put the date, which is 30th of April. With the date column, you can put a, it's a date column. That is done. And 30th April 2024, isn't it closing? Answer is yes. Now it is in quite a bit from here just to show you the closing items. You can always go back of the video and check this workings which I'm erasing now. So closing four members paid in advance. Closing advance. Do you add or less? You less. Yeah. So four times by 60. Come on. To 40, right? You less. Where do you less? You less on this side. Yeah. Debit side. 240. And that's your closing balance. You got to write it down. Balance CD. Last date of the month. 30th of April. And um, six members were arrear. Means due. Six times by 60. 360, yeah? 336 0 360 and closing area or generally due we add yeah normally accrued we add add means on the credit side again it's a balance cd 360 uh, let's see yeah all the items are taken all receipts for subscription were paid by check now this figure is a balancing figure you see before balance CD, bank. Bank is our balancing figure. I'm changing the color of my pen. Now, this is our balancing figure. We got to do total. Check out which side is big, bigger. Oh, oh my, but not this total here. The total is here. Right here. There we go. So obviously this side is bigger. You write it down here, write it down there. Take care of all the items remaining is your balance CDB. Um, instead of balance CDBD, this time is your balancing figure is your bank. Bit of incomplete record, right? So taking my calculator on screen and doing the calculation started with 300. It's not 3000, remember, it's 300, yeah? I know my handwriting is <laughs> horrendous. My mom wanted to make me a doctor. I ended up to become a chartered accountant. 5940. 5940. You see, many people die because of doctors' bad handwriting and they give the prescription and the wrong medicine being given to the uh, uh, patients. My gosh. <laughs> anyway, from this figure, all the items are taken over 420 minus uh, 180 minus uh, 360 as well. Many students, they do this mistake. They don't take away their balance CD. You've got to take that out. 4980. 4980 boom boom you get the full marks make sense yeah this is also the last date 30th of april now cd becomes bd you must write it down people yeah cd becomes bd in the opposite sides you get write it down you get the uh, marks for that first of may bell bd 240 and here 360 is your bell CD becomes BD first of May. That's your full marks. Would you like to see the answer? Let's see it. Here it is. There you go. For five marks, yes, you had to spend a bit of time here. One, two. Can you see? For balance BD, you get three. For irrecoverable, four. And balancing, we have five. That's your five marks. Well and good, yeah? Our five mark question done four more question done uh, now refreshment account trading account refreshment trading account for four marks so it's like income statement so we need to read uh, I'd like to go to the another page trading account old mixon isn't it 
old mix and club a refreshment trading account for the year ended for the year ended 30th of april if it is not written you need to write it down okay uh, what do you start with generally we start with sales there should be sales less cost of goods sold cogs the cost of goods sold what do you see under the cost of goods sold what do you get opening inventory don't you plus purchases less closing any adjustment could be there less closing most of the items would be like that yeah and that's it there will be two column yeah sales we're going to put here and other items there and once you deduct your cost of goods sold you get here gross profit for four marks let's see refreshment were sold straight away 11,900 that is my sales yeah choose and pick get easy marks First of May inventory valued opening inventory 950. Keep it simple. Yeah, 950 is my opening inventory. What else? Then purchases 4500. Don't get excited like oh let's write the purchase 4500. Invoice 1200 had payment is still outstanding, but if this is still purchase. Actual concept says add that 4500 plus 1200. Right, 4500 plus. 1200 it makes 5700 i would ask you to use your calculator that is done a member had carried out inventory uh, valued inventory selling price look do you value inventory at selling price or cost mm -hmm. lower of cost and net result value is the answer but at cost price so there is a 25 percent they said markup yeah if you remember my formula cost plus markup equals to sales yeah and when the markup profit is given, 25 is markup, cost is always 100%, so your sales is 125%. So how do you get the cost price here? Um, 4,500, remember, 4,500 represents 125%, isn't it? 4,500 Where about? Sorry, my bad, 1,400, yeah? 1400 is the selling price so 1400 is selling price that represents 125 so 1400 divided by 125 times by 100 i'm going to get my cost price which is 1120 that is my cost of the inventory that's how you got to do um 1120 we have done some working so 1120 you do the plus minus 950 plus 5700 minus 1120 5530 that's your cost of goods sold write it down here cogs take away from the i'm doing it this way but you've got to do proper 6370 is your gross profit and that's your trading account done as well. Shall we check the answer? There we go. Boom. Well done. And then what else is there? I believe there is income and expenditure account, right? For 11 marks. You got to jot down all your income together. Less expenses. If there are any adjustments, I can see if your adjustments are here, like rent bit of adjustments electricity bit of adjustments nice and easy you got to take into account now and, uh, and too much uh, notes are there so let's go to another particular page here for 11 marks income and expenditure account for the year ended you got to write all these things this is another two column income all the incomes you need to jot down the main income is subscription then uh, profit uh, from the refreshment isn't it profit from refreshment trading account there could be more if you sell any non kind asset profit and loss could be any grant could be got to write all these things after that we need to less expenses expenditure we call it Let's check it out then yeah there is a grant five thousand straight away so grant should be there that's an income five thousand they said it so i'm writing it down five thousand uh, 
from subscription how much was the income uh, we had the subscription here from profit 6370 right let's write it down and getting our marks easily subscription 5000 something I believe here we go 5400 right bring it down and get your easy marks 5400 these are easy peasy maybe two three what about the marks being allocated we will take that into account depreciation on the equip, uh, equipment owned at the year end uh, read 20 percent straight line life is easy but we need to read further first of may club owned equipment 30,000 and they have a carrying value let's keep it as it is let's read the last sentence during the year equipment costing 4,000 owned by the club for three years sold for so obviously there should be some profit on loss and the, then then replacement you bought some new assets let's do this bit first yeah this bit changing the color of my pen now this bit is about profit on loss on disposal cost of the asset was how much four thousand wasn't it uh, you charge debris at the rate of 20 percent yeah the asset held in the business for three years 20 percent at first let's get four thousand times by 20 percent you get 800 yeah 800 800 times by three years 2400 2400 is your debris accumulated debris so i'd like to erase a little bit in between cost minus dp you get net book value don't you why i'm doing i'm checking whether we sold at profit or loss 1600 was net book value right less disposal or just uh, uh, get the comparison disposal dispo how much you sold it for 2300 good or bad definitely good a big profit of 700 profit on disposal put it into your income profit on disposal 700 right you have done the workings you can refer the workings must do the workings for edexcel because i'm an ex edexcel examiner i have been marking these papers for quite a few years now so your final answer will give you the marks anyway but it's good to do the uh, workings okay that was one part i'd like to change the color of my pen now to yulish so this time depreciation they said like uh, like I, i'll take this bit 30,000 minus uh, 4,000, right? Plus 6,000, right? Um, so 30,000 30, minus 4,000 plus 6,000, 32,000. You do 20% on it. That's your depreciation. 6,400 is your depreciation charge for the year. That is in the working as an expense okay that is that oh, we can write it down even yeah depreciation Depre working we have done all the total you can bring it down to the second column um, 6400 is my expense there is a irrecoverable debt you remember 180 i remember in the subscription account i'm bringing it down here then this box rent very interesting one changing the color of my pen back to red one quarter three months red is still outstanding so this is nine months rent do you agree nine months yeah it's a big question already 24 minutes but this is how you do with explanation it takes that much of time isn't it so 1500 divided by nine times by 12 if you do your total rent should be 2000 makes sense that means 500 was outstanding so 2000 rent if you write rent so 1500 plus 500 2000 is your rent 500 was due right let's go to the next one electricity 890 they said 190 outstanding so plus 190 outstanding is added 135 prepaid minus 135 boom boom hmm? 
electricity 890 minus 135 plus 190 I remember 890 minus 135 plus 190 any order you can plus minus don't worry about that 945 945 okay, going little down bottom this is done wages short loan 400 made to an employee included into minus it any loan should not be there 4655 oops not here Force minus 400, it should leave you 4 to 5, 5. Then what else is there? Repair and sundry expenses. Let's write it down. Equipment repair and sundry expenses. What did they say about it? All equipment repairs are paid in full. So 1500 paid in full, 1500 no adjustments. Sundry expenses, um, a refund was outstanding. So refund should be minus, yeah? So sundry expense was how much? 1200 minus 100. 1100. Okay. And all of these expenses, is there anything else? No, all done, all taken. So either you get a deficit or surplus. Now before that, I'd like to add up the income. So how much? 5,400 plus 6,370 plus 5,000 plus 700, 17,470. 70, that's my income. What are the expenses? Okay, taking all into account, 6,400 plus 180. Plus 2000 plus 945 4 plus 1500 plus 1000 and uh, you get 16280 this is uh, one one minute I can see this is 1100 isn't it yeah so 100 more add up 16380 should be 16. We'll check the answer, don't worry. So it should be taken away from the top figure, which is 17470. Uh, 1090 positive. Yeah, I done the opposite. 1090 positive. That is called surplus. And that's it. That's how you do. Let's see the answer. Here we go. 1, 1, 1. Marks everywhere. Marks, marks, marks. 11 mark surplus 1090 well done that's how you do i think i'll keep the video till this there is a theory uh, evaluation which you will see in the next some other video thanks for watching this long video hope it helped many uh, igcc also a-level students see you in the next video bye bye